before we will jump right into the tutorial, I want to make a short introduction. If you need any help of me and my team, then please don't hesitate to contact us. We will help you with any technical problems with your website. Below this video, you will find our contact details. See you soon. Bye. Interested in using WordPress to create a blog or website? This video will show you how to install it on a hosting account that includes cPanel. Not sure what cPanel is or if you have it? If you bought a GoDaddy hosting plan for Linux, as opposed to a hosting plan for Windows, then you have cPanel. It is essentially a dashboard to help you manage aspects of your hosting account, including files, settings, and applications like WordPress. To get your cPanel dashboard, sign into your GoDaddy account and click My Products. In your products list, locate Web Hosting and then click Manage. You'll see a listing of all your hosting accounts and domain names. In this example, Jane has just one, CaliforniaFlowerFarms.com. Notice that cPanel appears under the Manage button. Click Manage to open cPanel. This is the cPanel dashboard. Now we can install WordPress. Under Web Applications, click WordPress. Installatron opens an overview page about WordPress. You don't need to spend any time here unless you'd like to learn more about WordPress. Let's keep going and click Install this application. The Installatron install wizard will guide you through the installation of WordPress. It provides instructions and helpful information about each field. Here are a few important things to remember. First, in the Location section, be sure the domain you want to install WordPress on appears in the Domain field. In our example, Jane has only one domain, so it automatically appears in the Domain field. If Jane owned other domains or had created subdomains, they would appear in the drop-down menu. Next, leave the directory field empty if you want to use WordPress as the website for the domain you selected. Not sure what that means? Let's say Jane types blog in the directory field. WordPress will be installed on CaliforniaFlowerFarms.com slash blog, and that will be the web address for the page or site she creates with WordPress. But then later Jane decides she wants to build a full website for her business, and she wants the web address to be CaliforniaFlowerFarms.com. She'll need to either reinstall WordPress on CaliforniaFlowerFarms.com or move or copy the WordPress installation to her CaliforniaFlowerFarms.com domain. Finally, in the Settings section, you'll see that an administrator username and administrator password are provided. Be sure to note them or change them to something you'll remember. When all the fields and options are set the way you want them, click Install. That's it! Now you can start creating with WordPress. For help using WordPress, click the link in the details below this video. I hope you liked the tutorial and if you have any problems with this, you can contact me and my team below this video. So check the links below. See you soon.